The first thing I'm going to do while the motherboard is out of the case is to put the CPU and the memory directly onto the motherboard before it goes into the case. There is a little plastic cap over the CPU socket. First of all, that needs to be taken off. It protects the pins on the actual socket. All you have to do is push this lever down and out. And there we go. The socket will lift up and the plastic cap will just come off. You'll see the pins in the actual socket themselves. Be very careful not to touch them. When you put a CPU into a motherboard, locate the two little notches. There'll be one just there and one just there. You need to find the same thing on the actual socket. That's the way the CPU goes in. So I've located my two pins on my socket which are towards the top, you should be able to see those. Just be careful with the pins and not to touch them as they may bend quite easily. All you need to do is carefully place the CPU on top of the socket, like so. There we go, make sure it's thoroughly in. The next step is to pull the metal cover back over the top of the CPU and pull the metal clip down, push it right down and hook it back under the retainer. Your CPU has now been successfully installed. The next thing we're going to do is to put the memory into the memory slots. On this motherboard we have got two DDR3 memory slots on the right hand side there, the two long red strips. There are two white retainers on each side, just pull them back, ready for the memory. Same on the other side. Notice the notches on the actual sockets themselves. They are in a different place depending on whether it's DDR, DDR2 or DDR3. It's impossible to plug the wrong memory into the wrong socket. So all we need to do is take the memory, slide it in, each one, and push it down and click it into position and that's your memory installed so there we have a motherboard with an installed CPU and two sticks of DDR3 memory each stick is 2GB in size, so this motherboard has got 4GB installed in total.